Many people are scared of roller coasters, but today I want to share some information about them and maybe it'll change your mind. We'll start at the beginning of your journey, the station. The station is a place for the ride to come to a complete stop. The rider will then either exit or get on. Don't worry, the ride will not move on this phase. The ride must be checked and cleared and then the operator will release the ride from the station with the manual operation panel. The ride will most likely enter a lift hill. Sometimes it will be a launch, but let's cover the chain lift for now. The front car of the roller coaster will latch onto a chain and will slowly incline. As each car enters the chain, they will latch on as well. The chain operates by gears turning at the top and bottom of the hill to pull the train up. Oh no! Your train is rolling back! Just kidding. This will not be the case. Throughout the chain lift of the ride, there are anti rollbacks, causing the ride to stop in place if the lift were to fail. Anti rollbacks are a hook like structure poking out from inside the track. A small bar within each car will latch on to each one every time the car inclines. This is the clicking sound that you hear when on the ride. Most people think it's the chain, but no, the sound is coming from the car itself. When you approach the top of the hill, the cars will individually detach from the chain, and you will soon be on your way. If you think you will fly out of the ride at any time, you might. If the operator did not check your seatbelt or you unbuckled and the ride somehow malfunctions to not recognize your lap bar not being put down, and the banking is too much to handle on a small turn and you end up flying out of your seat, don't worry, this will not be you. Let's go back a step. The banking on track is the amount of track rotated. When you have a tight, fast turn, you want more banking. On a slow, big turn, you want less. They have to correlate with each other in order for the ride not to screech against the tracks. And don't worry about those hills. You will not fly out. That's what the seatbelts are for. If you feel pressure on your legs and your butt is coming off the seat, that's called airtime, and it's completely normal due to gravity, so don't worry. Oh no! Your train crashed into another! This will not happen. The right the ride, there are block sections. Block sections are a piece of separate track that the ride will end up on. When one train goes through one block section, it clears the track for another train. Think of it this way. Red train ends up on the block section and passes through it, allowing this piece of track to be cleared which lets another train go through. If the train fails to clear the block section, the ride will shut down, allowing passengers to exit the ride safely and not letting another train go through. Now that you know these useful facts, I hope you're not worried to ride a roller coaster next time.